Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Brown Dust 2 on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Brown Dust 2 and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Brown Dust 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, to get started we need to launch our main browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type that URL, simply because I added a link in the video description and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived here on our own website of Usitility, in which we find here a in-depth demonstration on the way to download and install Brown Dust 2 on laptop or computer. We browse down a tad and simply click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Brown Dust 2 on our PC. It is now obvious that we access several pros of running the emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the Brown Dust 2 by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. The step is clicking on the button. Of course, the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file. Okay, then we have to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We have clicked yes. I reduce the web browser to see the installer considerably better. The installation software is straightforward. It includes a couple of choices, install and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path is indeed. We simply just simply click on it. And now we see that we display here the path where in fact the emulator can be put in. If we are planning to change for better this folder we have got to click on that browse option. Therefore we decide on another folder and install the emulator exactly where we prefer. I am going to keep it as it is. Then, I click on back. And therefore I pick install. Great. The install starts and it is going to continue along with the download of all these MB that happens to be represented on our computer screen. At the time you save it on your machine, it could possibly be more or less megabytes. The download speed could go at a higher speed or slower, determined by your web access and according to the speed capacity of the emulator hosting servers. Right away they're progressing very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has actually been launched instantly. As you will notice, down here, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right and once it attains the ending, the emulator can be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator has already been launched, there for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can discover, it made a couple of software icons there on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is definitely the only one we're concerned about. Anytime we have to start Brown Dust 2 on the PC, we double mouse click on this software icon and consequently start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should do the next phase, that is a must-have, and which is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. And we are going to click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is presented. Here we need to log on. At present when we are right here, we must absolutely perform this next phase that is absolutely mandatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. At this point it announces, checking info. It can from time to time get stopped at checking info, and so it fails to continue. In that case, you can try to connect to your account after a number of hours and it may very likely be sorted out. At this point we are going to type in our username and password. The email address ought to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. As an example you make use of the very same email you use at the moment in your YouTube account. Therefore I am going to provide my info and I will go back when I have completed it. That's all, data inserted. Find out Google welcoming us and supplying us their twos. We must consent to them all by simply clicking, I agree. After that, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could keep it selected and this will build a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you can make use of this option if you like. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the app, we are required to get to the emulator desktop for Android by left clicking the app icon indicated green colored. Today that we are on the desktop of that emulator, we notice that we find right here the install application option. We click or double click on this button. Right here we have the video game. Let's press now on the install link that I'm just showing now in green color. Therefore it will start the setup. 
At this time it is going to install the Android game, it normally takes a bit of time or perhaps it may just be extremely fast. This all varies on our connection to the internet. It's actually completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this button I'm showing in green, if you want to use Brown Dust 2 for the very first time. I am presently on the emulator desktop, then we're preparing to just click the brand new Brown Dust 2 software icon which has been provided. That game is launched for the first time. Now there we end up with it, I can also mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the volume of that emulator. It is right here. We use the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this manner we do not count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the fullest, we could activate the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. That is simply the first one, we mouse click on that software icon which I'm identifying in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, having one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. Supposing that we desire to play the video game using all the screen, we hit this particular game icon. And we might already be experiencing and enjoying the video game in 100% screen function. To quit the complete screen setting, hit the F11 key. And we'd already play in normal display setting. At this moment I am going to explain you the computer keyboard mapping and that is really surprisingly enjoyable. That step we definitely will be in a position to play the game application a lot more easily. The first task is to click on this app icon. And right now there you will be able to complete the required setups. Let me let the normal settings, though if you need to adjust this, you may well do it now without any problem. Obviously, the emulator is completely in our language. In certain cases it occurs that your emulator is presented in the improper language, such as, in Japanese. Then to set it up in the right language we click here to the cogwheel. So right here within additional configuration settings, we just click on the language drop down. We may very well go for the language we wish, Italian, Mandarin, and so on. After the language is selected, we should save, the emulator would reboot, and also the video game, next time we run it, will as well be in the specified language. At this time, there is another point that we will need to take into consideration, and this is that we will get a message from Google telling that a completely new equipment has been connected with our own Google account. It should ask us if we are the people who have associated with that device. Absolutely, we shouldn't get worried, considering that the emulator is emulating in Google Android smartphone or tablet. And then to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. And so we go here to the, model, selection. And right here we observe that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for this video tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it, specifically that everyone thought it was interesting. In this case, allow it a great like, subscribe to my channel, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, issues or suggestions, let them in the comment box down below. Mouse click on any of the videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the next video game videos. Bye.